in the last class period, if you guys remember, one uh, um, was to rationalize. Right? So we can't multiply, we can't subtract. Like, obviously, we could try to like combine the one plus the cosine, but again, you guys gotta think like, I don't want to really combine these together because I need this denominator to be separated, right? So um, one thing I'm thinking is I need cosine, or let's think about like this. I need cosine in my numerator to now go to sine, right? I need sine in my denominator to now be to cosine. So I got to think, when is sine and cosine, when are they related to each other? What identities are they related to each other? Well, How are they related? No, no, look at the identities. Sine and cosine are related to each other with the co-function identities. Oh. Yes, they're also related in Pythagorean identities. Correct? That's where sine and cosine are related to each other. Obviously, there's no, we have nothing going on with co-function identities. However, if I could create some Pythagorean identities, this could work, right? So how can we create Pythagorean identities? That comes into rationalizing. If I multiply this by 1 minus cosine of theta, right? remember we talked about rationalizing the denominator with radicals last class period? This turns into sine of theta times 1 minus cosine of theta. This turns into 1 minus cosine squared of theta which we now have created a Pythagorean relationship based on our identity, 1 minus cosine squared of theta is equal to sine squared of theta. There you go. Huh? Yeah, the 1 minus cosine theta, one, or 1 plus 1 minus. OK? So now, there's a couple things that I'd say my experience helped me out with this. The first thing, I didn't distribute sine of theta. Many